What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So today has been wild. Uh, I recently talked about the whole Vince McMahon um, situation with uh, him uh, potentially sex trafficking a young woman that uh, that was employed by him, and in the text messages and the things that he had said to her and was doing to this individual, and even trying to pay this individual off but didn't pay her the full amount that he promised to her. It's just it's just wild. It's some crazy, definitely just some disgusting stuff. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out right now. Um, but I, I wanted to talk to you guys about the implications that, that ha this has on Brock. It's being insinuated that Vince McMahon was trying to pass this young woman off to Brock Lesnar as a way to potentially get get Brock to re-sign with WWE the person said it was a UFC and a WWE uh talent now some people say it could have been Matt Riddle maybe possibly but at that time Brock was trying to re-sign so I'm not sure could have been Matt Riddle but at the same time I don't think Matt Riddle and Vince were as close as Brock and Vince and we know that to be true they're really close if you guys remember at one point when Vince was retiring or retired, uh, Brock was going to walk out that SmackDown. Brock was legit. He wasn't going to no show. He was, he was supposed to be on that SmackDown and he no showed. And it's that's that's definitely some strange loyalty. You know, granted, I'm sure uh, Vince has done great by uh, Brock financially, but that's that's some big loyalty to have to someone. So once again, we don't know how true it is, but his name being in this mix is not good. And I wanted to talk about this because there have been reports for a while now that Brock was going to be involved in the WrestleMania uh, season, uh, potentially maybe making his return at the Royal Rumble, potentially maybe having a match with Gunther at WrestleMania, which I think a lot of fans wanted to see. But now that his name has been... <laughs> associated with this whole lawsuit and what's been going on with Vince, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see him being around for WrestleMania season this year until things die down, at least until things die down. I don't see him being at the Royal Rumble for sure. Maybe some other shows, maybe closer to WrestleMania, maybe. But things really have to die down if that's the case. Now, granted, we don't know if this is true. If Brock was really involved in this in the situation and and wanting this young lady to do certain things and and meet up with her and stuff like that, we don't know how true it is. But anybody being associated with this whole Vince McMahon lawsuit, it's not a good look. And if you guys know anything about public perception, it's key. I know the 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 saying is you're innocent before proving guilty. Well, that's not really the case in the public opinion. Uh, a lot of times you're guilty before you're proven innocent. And in this situation, right around the time of them getting this Netflix deal, right around the time where people are excited about the Royal Rumble, right around the time where The Rock is being, um, you know, being uh, a part of the board members of TKO Holdings and the excitement around WrestleMania season and all these shows they're trying to do overseas and stuff like that. WWE is doing some great numbers and the hype around WWE is really great right now. So it sucks that now Brock and, and Vince are now being in part, you know, being wrapped up in the situation. And what I mean by it sucks, I mean, it sucks for WWE as a whole. I'm not not having sympathy for these individuals if this situation is true. But I'm saying as a whole, momentum wise, it does kind of it kind of dampens it just a bit and that's why i say i don't know if brock can be a part of this wrestlemania season right now only because it don't look too good just the optics even if you're one of the shareholders and all this other stuff people that are you know sponsors and stuff like that they're going to be looking at this whether it's true or not whether they believe it or not they have other people that look that's going to ask questions you, you're supporting this so i can see honestly some changes being made if brock was supposed to be a part of this wrestlemania season and they're like you know what we kind of got to part ways with you bro 
just for now. Like we, you gotta lay low, and especially with Vince. Granted, we haven't heard too much about Vince. You know, as of late, he's been behind the scenes in the sense of you know the financial part of things. He hasn't really been involved on the television side of things. But there needs to be no mention of Vince at all. Like legitimately, no mention of him, him and or Brock. Now I'm sure there's gonna be some questions that are gonna be asked to Triple H after the Royal Rumble for their little press conference that they have. And the question, I'm sure there's gonna be some questions asked, or maybe they do something where they they tell people don't ask those questions. I could see something like that. I don't know, um, but if if they allow them to ask them questions, it's gonna be very interesting to see what he has to say about Brock, what he has to say about Vince, how he's he going to try to skirt past that because. Once again, that's a very big thing. That's a very big uh, issue that they're going to have to try to uh, tiptoe around and keep things focused on WrestleMania, WrestleMania season, and the hype around that. So the timing of this is not really good, and especially one of your bigger stars in Brock Lesnar being potentially accused of this situation. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see them having him off WWE television um for a while maybe this entire wrestlemania season i know dub would be happy about that and some of y'all would be happy about that um so it's just very interesting once again i know it's not set in stone if this is actually true but him being categorized in this lawsuit potentially it's not a good look and if i'm wwe and tko i'm doing everything i can to distance ourselves from this right now until we can get everything sorted out that's that's literally the, that would be their best option so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like brock lesnar was involved in this or do y'all feel like it's you know you know it's it's not true also if even if he's not involved in this do y'all feel that brock should be kept away off of television when it comes to the royal rumble and and the uh, wrestlemania season as a whole or do y'all feel like nah he should still be a part of it let me know how y'all feel about all of this man but uh i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speed to youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace